Good morning. It's great to be with you on this Tuesday morning. It is a Bible study that we need to really get in our grasp, and that is what is our heavenly home going to be like? What is the dwelling place of the saints of God going to look like? And what kinds of things can we send to heaven before that time occurs while we're still on this earth? Let's ask God's blessing on this Bible study today. Dear Heavenly Father, we come to you and we praise you. We glorify you that your word has glimpses for us of what heaven is going to be like what we can do to send up our treasures there and what treasures do we send up to heaven where moth cannot eat and rust cannot corrupt by your grace through your mercy father be with this study today for your glory and your glory alone in jesus name amen the word of god tells us very clearly in uh first of all matthew 6 20 that we while we're on earth can send up treasures to heaven and those treasures are safe treasures they cannot in any way be dissipated they cannot be destroyed hear the word of god and then we'll try to define some of those treasures but lay up for yourself treasures in heaven. So we know that we can lay up treasures in heaven. Where neither moth nor rust doth corrupt, nor thieves break through and steal. Now understand this. Whatever these treasures are, they're safe in heaven. But on earth, they are not. You can... You can build your mansions on earth and you can't take them with you. You can acquire all kinds of money and be financially stable, but it ends at death. You can have all kinds of wealth on this earth. You can have fame, but those things are not eternal. What kind of treasures can I send up to heaven and they'll be there after I leave this earth? The treasures of serving God. That's a treasure. And you lay it up in heaven and when God brings you there through death or through the rapture, you will receive rewards for that treasure that you've laid up in heaven. Perhaps it's the treasure of service to Jesus Christ. You send that up by faithful service to Jesus while on this earth. Maybe it's giving a cup of cold water to somebody that's thirsty, feeding those who are hungry. Perhaps you are somebody that helps people have adequate means and you meet their needs, and that's a treasure you have sent up to heaven. There are spiritual treasures all over the place that the Bible says, I can send up to heaven, and they'll be there when I get there. But I will not take anything of this earth there. I must send it to heaven before then. And it goes to heaven when I serve God faithfully, do what his word tells me to do faithfully, and I do not in any sense do it for my glory, but for the glory of Almighty God. So what kind of treasures are you sending up there? Are you sending any treasures up in heaven? Are you living by every word that proceeds from the mouth of God that's a treasure. That's a treasure. Being faithful to the call of God on your life, that's a treasure. Are you doing any of those things, my dear friends? Or are you without treasures when you get to heaven? 
it's important that we don't send nothing to heaven but send many treasures to heaven before we get there so that's what heaven's going to be like it's going to be a place where people have sent up their treasures and because of that they end up being rewarded for their faithfulness to what God gave them to do well let's look on now it contains also according to the word of God heaven does a register of the saints those who have received Christ as a savior here Luke 10 verse 20 notwithstanding in this rejoice not that the spirits are subject unto you but rejoice because your names are written in the Lamb's book of life don't go around rejoicing that the demons are subject unto you but they are but don't rejoice over that rejoice that you're saved by the grace of God how do you get saved by the grace of God a oh, simple you recognize that Jesus is the Son of God that he was born of the Virgin Mary that he lived 33 years teaching about his father on earth that he died bearing your sins on his body paying for them in full that he ascended into heaven that he is coming back my friends if you receive that and ask Jesus Christ to bring you his perfect salvation you will be saved and that means your names are written in the Lamb's Book of Life in heaven and therefore if your names are not written there you're not going to heaven when you die you must be born from above well friends that's a treasure in heaven and I'm so glad that that is one of my treasures in heaven and then note please that we're built by the hand of Almighty God we're built by the hand of Almighty God second Corinthians 5 verse 1 for we know that if this earthly house this body this physical body we know that this earthly house of this tabernacle were destroyed we die we have a building another body of God an earthly uh, a heavenly house wherein uh, there are eternal eternal blessings so the Word of God tells us simply that we have a physical body but when we get to heaven we'll have a spiritual body and it can be held it can be seen it can eat it can do everything Jesus did after his resurrection that we know about heaven we're not going to dwell in heaven just in floating around as a spirit we will be put into a new body that shall never never have any death and that spiritual body is something God has prepared for those that love him so it's a reality my dear friends it's a treasure God says he's reserved for us in heaven then please note that there's room for all believers in heaven it, it there isn't a certain number that are going to be able to go to heaven and then the rest they're just going to have to wait around outside of heaven heaven is big enough for every born again believer listen to the word of God in John 14 2 in my father's house are many mansions many dwelling places if it were not so Jesus said I would have told you I go to prepare a place for you 
Now Jesus has prepared a place for everyone that has received or will receive Jesus as their Savior. There is a special place for each one. Heaven is as big as God needs it to be. It is not a small place that God has to extend like he extended hell because people decided not to receive him as Savior. Hell was enlarged, but it never says heaven has been enlarged because it doesn't need to be enlarged. So my treasure is God is preparing for me, perhaps has prepared for me, a dwelling place in heaven, and it's mine the moment I enter into that place. Then the Word of God tells us the glorified Christ enters into that place. Acts 7, 55. But he, being full of the Holy Spirit, looked up steadfastly into heaven and saw the glory of God and Jesus standing on the right hand of the Father. Jesus is there in heaven. He is the best treasure I have, for he is my Lord and he is my Savior. He is my God. He is my all in all. Jesus is the greatest treasure of all the treasures I'm mentioning that you can have in heaven for he is the savior he is the son of god he is our wonderful lord and jesus waits for us in heaven and perhaps soon will come for us and take us to that place what a treasure what a treasure and then we have this beautiful verse, and it talks about the redeemed of all nations that are going to be assembled. God is saving people all over the world. Perhaps you that are listening to me live in a different country than I live in, but that doesn't matter. Jesus is there with you just as much as he's here with me. He is everywhere present. And he is there to save your soul if you'll receive him as your Savior. He is there to build you up if you have received him as your Savior, to comfort you, to encourage you. Jesus Christ is not a man. He's the man God, but he is the God who is everywhere present at the same time. So the word of God declares what a treasure. Listen to the word of God in Revelation 7, 9. After this I beheld and lo, a great multitude, which no man could number, of all nations and kindreds and people and tongues, stood before the throne of Almighty God and before the Lamb, which is Jesus, clothed with white robes, and palms in their hands. Oh, my dear friends, my dear friends, one day that reality is going to be ours. What a treasure that is. We stand before God the Father and God the Son, and we praise them, even as occurred on Palm Sunday for Jesus. We have palms, and we're praising the Lord with all of our hearts. What a treasure, what a treasure God has given to us to expect one day. And then we go to a treasure of obedience, the conditions of entrance. Listen to the word of God in Revelation 22, verse 14. Blessed are they that do his commandments. He's talking about believers that they may have the right to the tree of life and may enter in through the gate into the city. We have the right to
to partake of the tree of life, an eternal existence is being spoken of. What a treasure! What a treasure! And when we think of the treasures God has given to us, we cannot in any way look down on the treasure of the church of Jesus Christ. The church of Jesus Christ are the people of God. And the people of God we assemble with will be those treasures that we experience for all eternity in heaven. You see, the people of God are all taken to the place of God's treasure. And that treasure is where God gives us a beautiful, complete, wonderful existence forever and ever and ever, experiencing the treasure of the Father's love. Can you imagine the treasure of the Father's love? He loves you with an unconditional love. The treasure of the Savior's love, who he did everything to save us. If we would accept what he said, we would be saved. But he did everything to make that possible. What a treasure the sacrificial love of Jesus Christ is. And what a treasure we have in the Holy Spirit of God who came to dwell in us until we entered into the place called heaven. Yes, the Holy Spirit lives within the child of God. It is He is a treasure to them because he guides them into all truth. He directs them. He comforts them. He encourages them. The Holy Spirit is a treasure we're experiencing now, but we will experience the full measure of that treasure when we get to heaven. God says to you and I, are you laying up treasures in heaven? Are you laying up treasures in heaven? Will there be any treasure there other than Jesus and God and the Father that you've sent up there because you've served him, you have loved him, and you have served him with all of your heart? You have encouraged people to receive him? Have you really sent up those other treasures? There is a treasure that is far superior that's already up there. It's God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. But there is a treasure God is waiting for you to add to those treasures, and that's the treasure of faithfulness. May God bless you, and may you, and I'm going to send up as many treasures with moth does not destroy, nor thief steal, nor rust corrupt. I'm going to send up the treasures of full service to Jesus Christ. I hope you will. Have a great day.